Traditionally focused on safeguarding its own borders, Japan's leap into the realm of sixth-generation fighter jets marks a significant departure from its past approach. The implications of this move are significant, and it's generating a lot of interest and excitement. Countries like China and Russia are especially shocked, and they are keenly observing this development. An even more intriguing fact is that Japan isn't going at this alone. They've formed an unexpected alliance with two other major players in the world of aviation technology. A lot of questions are now flying about the reason behind this new Japanese project, and many wonder what its significance is and how it impacts the future of aviation. Join us as we explore the details of the Japanese billion-dollar sixth-generation jet that shocked Russia and China. Japan has made a significant impact on the technologies we rely on today. They've pioneered gadgets and tech that are now essential to our lives, demonstrating their prowess on a global scale. However, the country has been grappling with creating brand new technologies from the ground up or figuring out better ways to use the ones that are already hanging around, which is why some countries were shocked by the announcement of their sixth-generation fighter jet. The first-ever Japanese fighter jet was the Nakajima Kika, and the jet took its inspiration from the German Messerschmitt Mi-262 fighter. Back in 1942, when Germany was testing their jet-propelled Mi-262 fighter, a keen-eyed Japanese air attaché stationed there caught all the flight trial action. This attaché was so pumped about what they saw that they reported back to Japan with overflowing enthusiasm. This report got the attention of the bigwigs at the Japanese naval staff, and they decided it was time for the Nakajima company to get to work. The mission was to develop a single-seat twin-jet aircraft that had a layout similar to the Mi-262. At this time, the war had been taking a toll on Japan, and they were getting pretty desperate. In fact, by October 1944, Japanese naval pilots were already carrying out suicide missions using planes. It was during this time that the Nakajima Kika started taking shape. Two engineers, Ono and Matsumura, were at the helm of designing this all-metal aircraft, except for the fabric-covered control surfaces. They even came up with a plan to have the outer wing panels fold up, making it easier to stash the aircraft away in caves, and they hung the jet engines in pods beneath each wing. This not only made installation a breeze, but also allowed them to try out different engines for testing. However, the turbine blades inside the jet engine had a limited lifespan due to the lack of high-strength alloy metals. They could only hold up for a few hours, but that was enough for operational testing and short flights lasting about 20 to 30 minutes. The Japanese set up these planes for one-way suicide missions because they couldn't develop them further. Now, their technology has advanced beyond that level, no doubt, and Japan is taking big strides with its military aircraft. They've been testing their sixth-generation fighter jet and have teamed up with the world's third-largest economy, sporting a substantial $5 trillion GDP. For decades, Japan has been on the path to becoming a global power, and this sixth-generation fighter might be their ticket to the big leagues. It could also help them deal with the ongoing tensions with North Korea and China. Intriguingly, both China and Russia are also working on their sixth-generation fighters, forming an unofficial alliance against other countries developing similar jets. In this endeavor, Japan has formed a powerful partnership with Italy and the United Kingdom. These three countries are pooling resources to invest a minimum of $4 billion in the initial stages alone. Italy and the UK were already collaborating on a sixth-gen fighter named Tempest before Japan joined the party. Back in 2018, the British Defense Secretary Gavin Williamson introduced the Tempest fighter jet. This project is a result of Team Tempest, comprising BAE Systems and Italy's Leonardo, and it's a partnership aimed at making this fighter a reality. The Tempest fighter is designed to complement the Royal Air Force's fourth-generation Typhoon and supplement the UK and Italy's F-35S. The initial prototypes are projected to be operational by 2025, followed by full-scale production and official operational service by 2035. This fighter jet will be using cutting-edge technology. The aircraft aims to incorporate stealth technology to evade enemy radar, potentially using electric engines to reduce heat emissions that could attract heat-seeking missiles. They're even exploring the incorporation of laser weapons that could maintain firing as long as the engines generate sufficient power. Anticipated to be a sixth-generation attack aircraft, the Tempest would surpass the capabilities of its predecessors. Its features span from flexible weapons carriage and adaptable airframes to long-range sensing, advanced materials, and hypersonic weapons. Another standout feature is its wingmen concept, which will be a group of accompanying drones with semi-independent capabilities. 
This collaborative effort is driven by a multi-million dollar deal awarded by the British Ministry of Defense to Team Tempest, allowing the advancement of various new technologies. The Tempest project is a monumental endeavor with potential international partners, including Saudi Arabia expressing interest. Saudi Arabia's defense minister, Khalid bin Salman, tweeted about a memorandum of understanding exploring possible collaboration. However, this is currently in the early stages and separate from the primary agreement. Now that Japan joined in with plans for its own sixth-generation jet, the country alongside the UK and Italy made a collaboration. The collaboration was set in motion by the creation of the Global Combat Air Program, GCAP, announced on December 9, 2022. The roots of this initiative, however, trace back to 2017 when Japan and the UK agreed to exchange information about their respective fighter programs. Italy later became part of the effort. GCAP represents an equitable partnership among these three nations. It not only eases the financial burden by collectively subsidizing the substantial costs, which is approximately $29 billion for Italy and the UK's Tempest, and $48 billion for Japan's FX fighter, but also leverages the experience and expertise of the respective defense contractors of each nation. This collaborative effort has a clear goal to create a sixth-generation fighter that would become the frontline option for all three participating countries. Designed to handle diverse air-based missions, including reconnaissance, surveillance, targeting, and electronic warfare, this fighter is positioned to ensure air, land, and sea superiority. Nevertheless, the ambitious goals set for this fighter are accompanied by potential challenges. Overloading the fighter with excessive capabilities or features could lead to complications. Past instances, such as the USS Gerald Ford supercarrier, have shown that attempting to integrate too many new technologies at once can lead to inefficiencies. One of the critical challenges faced by 6th Gen fighters is stealth technology as air defense systems continuously evolve. These fighters might require cutting-edge technologies that haven't been developed yet. Longer-range missiles, electronic jamming systems, and advanced weaponry are also on the wish list, posing a technological puzzle that the collaborating nations are working together to solve. The GCAP fighter is scheduled to enter production around 2030, with deployment targeted for 2035. As a result of this collaboration, a cutting-edge fighter is poised to emerge, designed to meet the modern demands of aerial warfare. The U.S. also entered discussions with the U.K. about a potential joint sixth-generation fighter program, but these talks are ongoing. No concrete agreements have been reached yet. Presently, each of these nations is progressing independently with their sixth-gen fighter projects. It was also after Japan's unsuccessful attempts to buy the U.S. F-22 Raptor that it embarked on its sixth-generation journey. Rather than sourcing parts from other countries, they focused on creating their aircraft. After a quick start, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries developed the first F-2 prototype. However, flight tests revealed limitations that prompted a program restart. The FX program was later resumed, receiving production orders from Japanese and foreign firms. A lead contractor was selected, with Japanese organizations taking the forefront. In 2020, MHI received an official order to create a prototype fighter under the FX program, potentially leading to serial production. The project was valued at $12 billion. Notably, Lockheed Martin and Rolls-Royce also joined the effort, contributing stealth technologies and an advanced aircraft engine, respectively. The FX stands out with its integrated circuit design, featuring a pointed nose, swept wings, and twin tails for aerodynamic efficiency. The aircraft's engine achieves a remarkable speed of 1,600 miles per hour, while its payload includes various missiles for different targets. It also features innovative elements, like using electric actuators to control the fighter's power and brakes. They're opting for electric ones instead of the usual hydraulic system because of their adaptability and the weight reduction they bring. With advanced sensors and systems, the FX integrates data in real time, forming a combat network. The cockpit employs LCD screens, augmented reality displays, and AI to enhance pilot capabilities. There are plans to include tactical drones within the system. Another of these innovations is the fiber-optic fly-by-wire systems designed to resist electromagnetic pulses. What's more, the fighter incorporates self-repairing flight systems, showcasing the development of impressive capabilities. Integrated sensors, including infrared cameras, active electronically scanned arrays, and self-defense sensors play a pivotal role in detecting and responding to potential threats. Stealth technology is a paramount objective for the FX program as well. Achieving invisibility to radar is at the forefront of their strategy, and this is pursued through features such as an internal weapons bay and air ducts coated with electromagnetic wave absorbers. 
To further minimize radar emissions, they've implemented the ingenious use of plasma stealth antenna technology. Additional advancements include incorporating specialized materials into the pulse Doppler system, which aids in managing radio wave reflections. The engine holds a crucial role in the FX's capabilities, too. Conversations are ongoing with Rolls-Royce, an influential player in engine development to help with its design. Presently, the plan involves equipping the fighter with thrust vectoring XF-9 engines. These engines are capable of delivering remarkable thrust and power, positioning the aircraft for high-performance maneuvers. Regarding armaments and auxiliary support, the FX exhibits versatility. Its internal design allows for the accommodation of up to six internal weapons, a feat that underscores its combat readiness. Notably, the project is exploring futuristic concepts like microwave weapons. The accompanying drones function as invaluable allies, too, contributing to tasks ranging from reconnaissance to munition deployment, effectively augmenting the fighter's capabilities. In the U.S., we have the NGAD fighter, short for Next Generation Air Dominance. Their own program focuses on air superiority and multi-role capabilities. With its high top speed and advanced stealth, the NGAD can operate effectively even in anti-access environments. It's equipped with advanced avionics, smart sensors, and connectivity that fosters information sharing among allied forces. China is making strategic moves as well, and it's making them with precision. The U.S. Air Force's intention to secure sixth-generation air dominance was made public by General Kelly, and he emphasized that failing to achieve this objective won't bode well for the U.S., with China fully aware of how attaining a strong foothold in the sixth-generation domain can alter the global balance in their favor, they are marching forward with determination. In fact, there are indications that China has been carrying out unclassified activities related to sixth-generation fighter development. Mysterious fighter aircraft with unfamiliar designs have been spotted at Chinese military bases. Back in 2021, a distinct Delta Wing, tailless aircraft was observed at the Chengdu Aircraft Corporation's flight test area. Fast forward to 2022, and a row of unique fighter aircraft appeared at another Chinese airbase. There were a total of eight of them lined up for satellite views. These aircraft exhibited designs that deviate from the well-known J-20 configuration. With cropped delta wings, narrower fuselages, and smaller twin tails, they stood out from the crowd. China has demonstrated its ability to replicate and adapt foreign designs to create potent indigenous fighter aircraft. And the prospect of China developing a sixth-generation fighter with American design influences and Russian engine DNA is intriguing. This fusion of elements from powerful nations underscores China's ambition to secure a dominant position in the next generation of air warfare. Russia's latest aircraft, the Su-75, also known as the Checkmate, has grabbed significant attention as well. Unveiled at the 2021 MAX Air Show with President Vladimir Putin present, this aircraft has garnered positive reviews since its debut. Russia has actively promoted it through various channels, including a short film featuring a Russian Air Force commander and an antique chessboard analogy. Though the Su-75 is supposed to be a fifth-generation fighter, many claim it has advanced features that could make it pass for sixth-generation aircraft. The Checkmate is poised to challenge the American Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II in the light-to-medium weight class. Russia's aim is for the maiden flight to take place in 2023, with initial deliveries expected between 2026 and 2027. The United Arab Emirates, India, and Vietnam are among the first buyers of this unique fighter. Notably, it's relatively low cost, with a price tag of around $25 million, making it over three times cheaper than the F-35 Lightning II. Sukhoi, the manufacturer, emphasized that the Checkmate can sustain supersonic flight far longer than the F-35, a claim that has attracted attention. This fighter boasts the powerful NPO Saturn engine, the same one used in the Su-57, with thrust vectoring capabilities. This allows the fighter to perform impressive maneuvers and rapid directional changes. Stealth is another defining feature of the Checkmate. Its stealth capabilities are enhanced by flying at altitudes exceeding 40,000 feet, evading radars with limited range. The fighter's hybrid wing body, internal weapons bay, and improved jet engine intake contribute to its stealth capabilities. The Checkmate also features an ultra-sensitive low probability of intercept radar, offering advanced detection capabilities. In terms of offensive capabilities, it can carry up to seven tons of guided and unguided munitions, making it a formidable combatant. The fighter is also equipped for data sharing with other allied aircraft, enhancing battlefield intelligence. Interestingly, the Checkmate will have both manned and unmanned versions, demonstrating Russia's forward-looking approach. 
The fighter's capacity to control multiple unmanned versions is a notable innovation, potentially reducing casualties in battle. Its large fuel tank supports its impressive range, enabling long-haul missions. To combat this, the US's F-22 Raptor is also being upgraded to match modern battle requirements. The F-22's upgrades include a reflective metallic coating for improved stealth and potentially laser-directed energy weapons. General Atomics is testing the Avenger unmanned combat drone equipped with the Lockheed Martin Legion pod for autonomous aircraft tracking and targeting. This technology aims to counter the agility of fighters like the Checkmate. Amidst these developments, Russia's Checkmate showcases its competitive edge, offering a blend of stealth, power, and affordability. This new contender ensures that Russia remains a significant player in the realm of advanced fighter technology, challenging other major players like the US and China. Now, as all these countries are planning their next-generation aircraft, there are speculations about them being able to stand the Japanese FX. While some think that their collaboration with other countries will make the aircraft formidable, others believe that since it was Japan's inability to acquire F-22 Raptors that led to the innovation, it may not be on par with the US's NGAD. It may, however, compete with Russia's new aircraft. It's no surprise why Japan would have initially wanted the F-22. Its agility stems from its diamond-shaped wings and Pratt & Whitney turbofan engines equipped with thrust vectoring. Achieving speeds of Mach 2.2 and supersonic cruising without afterburners is no small feat as well. Equally remarkable is its stealth capability, attributed to its shape and specialized materials. The F-22's offensive capability is impressive, housing an array of missiles in internal compartments along with a 20mm Vulcan autocannon concealed behind a retractable door. Yet the real power lies in its advanced avionics, managing everything from radar to navigation through millions of lines of code. Japan would have enjoyed this aircraft, however. Despite its prowess, the F-22 has faced budget challenges that deterred the U.S. Air Force's interest. Modern warfare's shift away from traditional battles further diminished the need for an air superiority fighter like the F-22. Despite its impactful missions such as intercepting mysterious balloons and combat against ISIS, the F-22's days may be numbered. The next generation air dominance program, slated for deployment by 2030, could replace it. This potentially curtails the F-22's reign as an aerial powerhouse, limiting its opportunity to fully showcase its capabilities. Alongside planning their own sixth generation fighter, Japan is also buying F-35S though. They're looking to team up their FX with the rapidly expanding group of F-35S, which involves various countries in NATO. They are doing this to send a message to China, in case they have plans to get offensive. And in case things go south and a conflict eventually breaks out, they want this new aircraft to have their back in a dogfight. They, however, need to make sure that this 6th Theth generation wonder can communicate smoothly with F-35S and even older 4-3 generation aircraft to enhance its utilization. The United States supports Japan's endeavor to protect itself, as they are least likely to launch an offensive attack. If it becomes necessary, though, they will be ready. We can, therefore, conclude that it's a good thing that Japan, the UK, and Italy are joining forces to merge their individual sixth-generation aircraft projects into one impressive package. They're working hard at this and are set on making the collaboration a reality by 2035 and to roll out a fighter jet that will be packed with all the essential features needed to truly stand out. Thanks for watching. While you're still here, click on the link on your screen to check out another interesting video from the channel. See you there.